Hello, NCC TV viewers. Welcome to Newcastle County's Fix Up of the Week. I'm Lauren Inspector here with John Prokopchik, and we're in the Newcastle area again at a home that, I'm telling you, it's just to the bare bones. We're down to the studs and the joists. It was a house that was an eyesore in the community, and we're turning it into one of those great houses that you've seen before. John, I'm going to leave it up to you because I have no idea what's going on in this house. Well, we'll tell you now. We'll fill you in. Um, the first house we ever did on Fix Up the Week of the Week was right here. And we were standing here, and we did have it gutted at that particular time. But uh, I'm sure you won't remember. But, you know, we had some walls here, and there was a, a little doorway going to the back area there. And uh, when we did the design and the plan, we decided to open this whole area up. We're going to have a kitchen over here in the back. We're going to build up that floor grade and build up the kitchen. And uh, we'll have three full baths, or two, two full baths and three bedrooms. And uh, John, this is the house with the uh, in-ground tank that we had to pull out? Yes. It was determined that we had an oil tank buried under here. And uh, we are required, per our environmental review, we are required to either remove the tank or else render it unusable. In this particular case, the tank was underneath the slab, and uh, we had a licensed tank remediator come in and uh, remove any oil that was in it, and then they actually filled it with a concrete sludge and rendered it useless. So I'd like to bring in here Sab Vitali. Sab is uh, half of the DNV Construction Enterprises, the general contractor for this job. Sab, you guys are really moving on this job. Uh, uh, what? Tell us a little bit about your approach to this whole thing and, and any, any other insights you might have. Well, of course, as you can see, we're in the preliminary stages here. Uh, we, we had to tear this uh, addition down and, and rebuild it. Uh, we're in the early phases here. Of course, we got shuttered by the, the, the storm here, but uh, our new kitchen is going to be going in here. We have a kitchen all around this entire area with the peninsula, a little nook coming out here. Uh, and uh, all of our plumbing will be run in this wall here. We have a, a laundry room, washer and dryer, and after that we have a three-quarter bathroom. Uh, it's, it has a, a shower, uh, your vanity, and a, a, a toilet, two-piece toilet going in in that corner there. Um, and then we move on in, into this area here where we have the master bath and uh, we have a five foot bathtub going in here, your vanity and a toilet. And, uh, and basically, okay, here, here we, we, opened, the, we opened, opened this whole area up. We had a 22 two foot span here. As you can see, we have an LVL, 14 inches, uh, going all the way across 22 feet all tied in with our Simpson ties. And, and, a, and, we, and we have another beam here. We had to open this up, of course. Over here entering into the kitchen, we have another LVL right here. And uh, this is what we're doing in a lot of these houses. They're small houses, but they're, we're opening them up. We're giving it another look here. And uh, Over here, um, where the uh, master bath is going to be, you have this section painted off here. Um, explain why we uh, identified this area of concrete and what's going to happen under there. Well, we're going to saw cut here. This is where our new plumbing is going to go. We're going to run a new uh, water line from the curb all the way in. Uh, and our, our, we're relocating the meter box that's going to go in the laundry room. So this whole area is going to be saw cut where all of our new plumbing and, and uh, uh, sewer lines are going to go. All right, and I did notice the, last week when you guys were here pulling the roof off, um, of course we got stopped by the snowstorm, but uh, the uh, decking on the roof was in pretty bad shape. So rather than replace just the damages areas, you and I discussed this, we're going to put a 7 16 overlay over the entire roof area. Exactly. Right over the top of the existing uh, sheathing. And uh, you, 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 as you can see, we actually have all of the new windows roughed in. As I mentioned, we, we, these are all larger. I mean, we need egress in the bedrooms, but we did increase the size of the, bed, of the windows in this living area as well, primarily for symmetry, I would exactly. say. We didn't really need them, but uh, that's, it's going to look a whole lot nicer anyway. So uh, what's next besides the roof and to close in this? What, what will we be well, doing next? after we close this up, like I said, we're going to start 
roughing our plumbing in, and then of course we'll be roughing our HVAC uh, work in, all the duct work through through the attic, uh, and then our electrical comes after that, and then we insulate. We'll insulate. We're going to put R38 in the R38 ceilings. R38 in ceilings and R15 in the 19. 19. No. R, R, R38 eight. and R15 in the walls. In the walls. That's what I meant. Exactly. Right. We're slam on grade, so we have no crawl space insulation. And uh, after our closing, we'll, you know, we, we keep going. The drywall, the floor, our carpentry, all new doors. Uh, well, I'll tell you, it's been moving along very quickly. We had a few surprises. We did have some rotten walls, and we had to redo some framing, move a couple of walls. But all in all, it's going according to plan, and you guys are real moving, really moving on it. Norm? Okay, so this was a three-bedroom, one-bath being turned into a three-bedroom, two-bath. Um, all brand-new stuff. We're going to go with the manifold water system, correct the plumbing. Is that what we're putting in here? Actually, interesting you should ask. Norm and I had this, or uh, Sab and I had this conversation the other day, and we actually eliminated the okay. manifold. Let's show you why. I'm going to show This is interesting. We have, uh, we have a new service. We are doing a new service water line, by the way. We're going to run it in here because the copper line, the integrity is questionable. It's broken off, so we're going to run a new service in. But the... All of the water, the, the, the two baths and the kitchen, are in very close proximity, okay? So, uh, you know, if you have a two- or three-story home, you need that manifold. It really pays off there. But one other problem that we have, Sab, you were talking about we didn't want to have to drill through this, uh, exactly. this uh, lamb beam. Which we would, we would lose some of the integrity, teg integrity of this. And, and actually, I, I didn't uh, see a need for it because we are going to have shuttle valves at the uh, end of every... Uh, uh, vanity, toilet, sink, underneath everything, and and it would not be. It, we would compromise some of this structure by drilling. We could, beans, all the lines would be coming down into this laundry room. So Bottom line is, I, I suggested it, and right. Bottom line is, is there are times when you could you could not use the manifold. I know how much you love them. So, John, what's going on at three two one house? Well, here's what's going on. I'm standing here with Elmore Walker. Elmore is uh, hes a very important guy to us here at Community Services in the NSP program because he's our go-to guy for boarding up windows, changing lock sets, uh, securing and getting houses winterized. But he's also a general contractor. He's the owner proprietor of Northeast Maintenance. And uh, we contracted him to do the uh, demolition inside here. So, uh, Elmore. How's it going? Going good. Okay. Going good. Good. So you got the boys in here, and uh, we'd like to get in and take a look and see what's going on. Yeah, and, yeah. Feel and, free. Go right in. Go right, right. in. Let's go. go. Right in. Whoa. Well, I told you we would start with a demolition, and that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, this is a demolition crew bringing it down to just its stud and probably its joists. Um, and here we are. This is the beginning of a whole new beginning for this home. John, want to talk a little bit more? Yeah, well, um, we're going to tear all the wall coverings and the ceilings off to the framing. And uh, as you could see, maybe, Jimmy, you can get a look here. What we suspected that we had furring strips right over the top of the block is true. That's what we have. So when we come in to do the, the rehab, we're going to stud this out with two by fours so that we can rewire, uh, do any rough in, and of course, the most important, put the R15 insulation in there. That's a code requirement, by the way. We couldn't do it otherwise. Um, and of course, we just have a big mess on our hands right now. Okay, guys, hey, any money you find comes back to uh, Newcastle County. Any bodies, go to Elmore. Got it? Okay, so we're here in the Route 9 corner in Newcastle County. You got an idea of what we start out with and what we're working with. Uh, we'll be coming back to this house periodically just to show you the advancements we're making. Um, this is Norm Spector with John Prokopchik and Sab Vitali for Newcastle County's Fix-Up of the Week.